Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to Gary Grisby's War in the East. We are, of course, trying to... Awesome. Uh, so there is a lot that uh, people have actually taught me about this game, and I really appreciate the comments. They help tremendously. One thing I'm going to try to do right now is use the shift key to go ahead and select two units um, and attack at the same time, and that worked beautifully. We actually shattered... 45th Rifle Division. I'm going to do the same with this final unit if I can. If not, we can simply move up with our SS Division, our uh, SS Motorized Brigade, and try to break through here. And actually, as you can see, look at that 13,000 defending. Uh, oh, okay. That actually got me a bit excited. That was not casualties, uh, just the airfield. Speaking of airfields, let's go ahead and start bombing the enemy airfields. This is always a good idea, and especially near Voronezh, as you can see, uh, we're still destroying a lot of enemy planes there. 12 fighters, 5 bombers. Um, and we just want to keep up this pressure because if we can keep that up, it's really going to help. There's actually a tank of boom that said that I should leave this on AI control. I'm not sure how to leave it on AI control if I just leave it and it does it automatically. Uh, but this is pretty fun. Look at that 26... Sorry, six fighters lost. Still, we're doing pretty good. Uh, and we're hitting an airfield as well as a routed unit. So that's got to account for something there. Um, we're doing a lot of damage here. And we will continue forward with our men. Now, it doesn't look like, and I may be wrong here, that we have some sort of mud back here. Uh, this may slow our progress. I'm not sure if that's the case. First of all, let's go ahead and use our little shift key. Um, beautiful. There we go. Three at once. Absolutely incredible. And of course, we made the enemy unit route. I'm so glad whoever showed me that did show me that. That is a huge help. Um, let's go ahead and hit this guy as well. And I will also move north here to finish off this tank division so that we have absolutely no defense or no resistance whatsoever from the Soviets. Um, so let's go ahead and select. Actually, it looks like we can only select that guy now. Um, and I don't even want to hit that tank division with the rest of our men. So we're going to start moving up slowly but surely uh, with some of these units and trying to break through the wall. And remember, we've got an open door right now. It's kind of an open door policy, uh, but we've got to hit them before they get those reserves into position and really take advantage. So we're going to go ahead here. We're going to hit all the locations we can. We can have a ton of different units to treat. I'm actually going to go ahead and actually send an infantry unit over here to capture some fuel. Um, that worked out beautifully. And there we go. That didn't work out so well, but we can always make up for that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. We're stacking all our guys against the Ulm River. And actually, this unit right here of uh, the Rifle Brigade, several Rifle Brigades, is stuck on that river. So we've got to make them retreat. Or at least uh, take some serious losses. I'm under the impression that we can get these guys to actually... Uh, totally route, great shatter, whatever you want to call it, but that might take a little while, and in the meantime, we don't want to stay stuck on this guy, uh, because we really need to keep moving on. And I'm going to go ahead and hit one more time, enemy force is still held, we even have support from our BF-109s, but it didn't seem to really help there. Um, we're going to go ahead, and again, like I said, don't ever attack across rivers, I'm going to go ahead and go against my own advice, uh, just to hit this unit, because he seems pretty weak. Uh, and let's go ahead and keep moving up with the rest of our units. We've got some infantry units here, obviously. We want to get those guys into place. Also want to get these tank units to move up. And actually, I might totally ignore uh, this other pathway and just try to break through here. And the defensive force is actually held there. Let's see if we can change that a little bit. Maybe bring some more reinforcements over here to the attack. Oh boy, we really can't move. What's going on? That's bizarre. Well, I guess we'll just keep having to hit them with our tanks. And there we go. We managed to route the enemy brigade. I'm going to go ahead and move forward with our tanks. We want to keep hitting them. It's that Blitzkrieg-style um, warfare, obviously. Or Blitzkrieg-style warfare. But just, just basically, um, we need to break through with our armor quickly and hit Voronezh before the enemy has time to regroup. So we're going to go ahead and keep going. Uh, this actually represents a fort. We're not close to it yet, but I do want to start moving our generals up as well so that they can provide much-needed support. Uh, and we also want to get the tank divisions here that haven't actually moved. Actually, these guys don't seem like they can move. We may not have control over the green. I'm, I don't know why that is, but that's just the way it is. Let's start moving forward the rest of these men, uh, the ones that we can move. It looks like some of them are having trouble. And let's go ahead and we'll use our shift attack key to attack these guys with both of our other. That worked out extremely well. We actually lost zero men in that attack. Uh, so it was an unbelievably successful attack. 
Oh, uh, let's go ahead and see. Can we hit this guy one more time? Sadly, we cannot. Maybe if we move this guy up, we can go ahead and put our whole plan in action. It doesn't look like we can do our ship attack. We'll still may be able to do a lot of damage here to the enemy. Alright, there we go. Enemy forces are holding. Um, I'm gonna keep moving forward. I'm gonna try not to worry much and keep hitting the enemy here. Alright, awesome. Here we go, we've got another enemy to pull back, and I will definitely move this motorized division into their path. And of course, we're going to keep hitting these sort of the guards' rifles, obviously, are pretty tough. They're not to be messed with. Uh, but we're doing a pretty great job here at breaking along these southern defensive lines and getting as close as we can to Voronezh. Um, obviously, this is the goal. Let's take a look here, move forward with these infantry units. Actually, I could have dual attack there with both my guys, but we actually did extremely well. 2,347 of the enemy running away. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep attacking with my armor, and I want my armor to try and get across the river no matter what. Even if that means attacking across this river, which again, I don't recommend. Um, I don't think it's a good idea, but in this case, I think we've got to try everything. Alright, let's go ahead. Huh? wondering if we're getting to Voronezh in time, just like this. We'll try to hit them in the infantry. No, that definitely didn't work. Alright, we have to be more careful there. Uh, but so far, we're breaking through on the top where it really matters. Uh, and all I'm really doing with these units in the bottom is trying to keep the enemy occupied, obviously. Try to keep them occupied on our army down here in the south. Uh, and sort of ignore those forces in the north. So let's go ahead, we're going to keep moving. And again, I'm gonna start out. Oh shit! God damn! Sorry about that, guy. Really poor work desk uh, when it comes to um, making videos. So I think eventually I'm gonna do a video here just explaining that uh, I take a lot of time out of my schedule to work on this channel. I take a lot of money, etc. Job opportunities to work, and I don't have a lot of money to afford a lot of the stuff that I probably should have, like a proper desk, this sort of thing. Um, so I definitely need your help on that. Um, more people that watch these videos, the, the more is coming in, and the more likely I am to be able to take it on the uh, But right now, that's just not really a possibility. Um, so that's why I'm trying to get the Twitch stream going, uh, try to make that successful, like this YouTube thing is, well, has kind of become, uh, but that obviously takes time. So there we go. I think we've done our movements so far. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move up some of these headquarters, because I, I want to make sure that these guys are still getting supplied. Uh, and like this guy over here, for instance, is not getting adequate supply. We want to get closer there. That's a lot better. Let's get these airfields to move up too. Uh, and the rest, anybody that can move, basically, I'm going to move up. Uh, because we have to get to Voronezh. I think by next turn, or the turn after. I'm pretty sure it's by next turn. Uh, let's see. Can this tank move? Yes, he can. And if he can, he will. Uh, there we go. Hit the enemy pretty hard. I'm going to go ahead and keep attacking Make sure we've got no movement points left for these guys, so there's really not much we can do. Uh, we can keep attacking that guard's rifle, though, and I'm not gonna stop, obviously. Can we keep hitting them. Let's see, can we hit with the infantry as well? Oh, we should be able to. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. We'll also see if we can move this HQ up. As you can see, our, our uh, allies, or I should say our men, are not doing well with the HQ that far away. So I'm hoping that bringing it close by will improve things, but we need an HQ even closer. Um, and I believe this mud is making that very difficult uh, for that to happen. So let's go ahead and see this guy. This infantry division needs that HQ a lot closer. Uh, there we go. That seems a little better. And as for the rest of my men, I'll make sure that no one else can still move. All right, that looks okay. And I think it's ready to end turn. I'm going to take a look quickly at the info screen, guys. I'd like to show you guys the casualty counts. So far, it looks like the enemy has lost 10,000. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the air losses, too. Uh, this is where we've done extremely well. Destroying 210 uh, enemy fighter bombers, 408 tactical bombers, and 8 level bombers. Um, and we've destroyed 626 enemies. They've basically only destroyed 65 uh, of our planes, and that's pretty damn good. Anyway, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps. I'd love to see if you guys think we've got a chance at victory. Thank you.